Hello and welcome to my channel. If you'd like to see how I created these, then keep on watching. Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello, welcome, come on in, put your feet up, get yourself comfortable, a wee beverage and just relax. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome and if you do, click that wee bell because that is going to tell you if I randomly upload a video because <laughs> that can happen sometimes usually on a Sunday 12 but there can be the wee extra in there as well um so everything I'm using is going to be listed down below slow down Kelly no one can understand a word you're saying <laughs> yeah so everything is listed down below for you all my discount codes links you name it it's down there in the description box for you um so today i'm doing a wee spring flowery set it's not something that i would wear but i do know that there'll be many of you who enjoy these kind of nails so i'm using my bling line hard gels today and i'm going in with lena which is a beautiful I think this one's a kind of lilac -y colour. Um, whenever I'm working with the hard gel colours, I like to do two thin coats. Just the same as I would do if I was doing gel polish, just to ensure that that's going to cure properly. Um, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with this, so I was just going to go in with the flow and see seeing what happened. Sometimes these things work and sometimes they don't, but it's a wee adventure when you do it. You know, it's just, yeah, let the creativity flow. <laughs> I love this colour, it's so beautiful and perfect for spring. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some Kayla. Now, I thought I was going to ombre it on this one and I ended up just covering the whole entire nail. <laughs> So it ended up that it was just a, a pearl, a pearl lilac nail. <laughs> but I do um, try and do a wee ombre with, I didn't see what that was because I can't see because of my recording box. I apologise. <laughs> but I'm using this stunning kind of pearl pink um, and I just took a tiny amount of it and I'm blending that back from the tip. Again, I'll do this in layers and yeah, I'm just going to clean off my brush and then I'm just going to, I'm really like descriptive today. I'm just going <laughs> to, I just cleaned off the brush a bit there so that I could get off the excess and then I'm just taking that dry brush and pulling it down so that it blends in. Does that make sense? <laughs> And when I cure that, I'll do that again, just to build it up a bit. And while we're talking about ombres, it kind of reminds me of sombreros. And this is my dog, the wee Scottish Mexican, wearing a sombrero. <laughs> I hope that cheered you up. <laughs> do you know what? I just love that picture and that tiny, teeny, tiny sombrero. <laughs> right anyway let's get back to these nails so i'm just i've put down a layer of cool one step gel and i'm just gonna take a fluffy brush a wee it's just a wee eyeshadow brush and i'm just gonna i'm just i'm just gonna do a lot aren't i <laughs> i'm just patting that gently in to create a glitter fade from the tip up to the cuticle area so yeah we're fading it out and on this one I've just added a swoosh of clear glitter no a swoosh of clear cool one step <laughs> and I'm just patting some of that snow globe which is absolutely stunning you you have to get it it's part of the Candyland collection but I have to say it is stunning the whole collection's stunning but anywho I just went and did my wee swoosh with the glitter and cured it. So now I've just added a wee blob of the cool one step and I've pressed a butterfly onto it and cured it. So on this one, I'm going to do a kind of marble. So I've just put down a coat of the lilac. I haven't cured it. Um, and then I'm going to take the, the shimmery lilac and pinks that I'm using and just drag that through. 
Um, no right or wrong way to do it. Just try not to have the too much jean. <laughs> and it'll just become all one colour. <laughs> okay, let's have a wee shout out. And this one's by, nails by Shona. And they said, clouds at social distance cracks me up. I'm always that person. I like what I'm doing, but then it gets turned upside down really quickly. This set is amazing. Thank you for the video. Also, I love the Scottish section of your video. Oh, thanks so much for that comment. It really made me giggle, especially when you were saying about the clouds at the social distance and yes, the too much gene <laughs> that we were just discussing there. <laughs> um, quickly, I'm just uh, sprinkling some of that snow globe gently over the marble that we've created, but I'm not adding loads. It's just a wee sparkle, sprinkle of goodness there. <laughs> But yeah, thanks so much for that comment, uh, Nails by Shona, and I'm so glad that you like the, the wee Scottish section that I'm adding now. There will be more to it. Um, I will be doing more than Scottish words. At some point, we're going to add some more stuff into it, so hopefully you'll get a giggle with that. And hopefully I can make it even more interesting. <laughs> okay, so here I'm just, I've added a coat of Cool One Step. I haven't cured it, and now I'm pressing these wee flowers and leaves. Um, into that uncured cool one step. Um, I'm going to use some saran wrap or cling film as we call it here in the UK um, and I'm just going to wrap it around because these don't sit very flat so whenever you have anything that is like that with gel just wrap it around with your saran wrap or cling film and then give it a wee cure um, and it will lie nice and flat for you it's a, it's a good wee trick that. Um, so I'm just going to do the same here. I've just added a wee bit of glitter and then I'm going to add the, the flowers in again. So while I'm doing that, let's have another wee shout out. And this one's from Sarah Jane Renton. And they said, hey love, I wanted to have a go at your Easter nails. Hope you don't mind. So here's my take on them. Hope you like them. P.S. Really enjoyed doing them. So this is her lovely nails here. And thank you so much for that lovely wee message and showing me your work. I honestly love seeing when you do recreations of my stuff. It really means a lot and it means that I'm helping in some way, hopefully. So yeah, thanks so much for that. And I better tell you what I'm doing here. So I've just cured those flowers into place. I've added a wee blob of the cool one step and then pressed a butterfly onto the top of that. Um, so I'm just going to do the same steps again, wrap it with the cling film and then put it in the lamping cure so that it's nice and flat. Um, so once I've done that, I'm then going in and just sprinkling some more snow globe because it's so pretty. We just, we need more snow globe in the world. <laughs> oh, seriously, the things I think of. Anyway, oh, you really don't want to know some of the things that pops into my head. It's like, what planet am I from? <laughs> right, so I'm going to use this cover, the warm cover pink gel. Um, because I want to do a kind of fade, a nail bed fade. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? <laughs> I'm being so technical here. Um, so I'm just going to put that into place and just try try not to press into it. You just want to float over gel because if you press into it, you're going to create bubbles um, and you don't want that. So you just gently it looks like I'm being quite vigorous here, but honestly I'm not. It's 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 slower, it's gentler, it's just sped up for this video. Um because you just don't want to press into it, you know, and create those bubbles. Um, because they're always gonna be an issue. So yeah, I'm just gonna create that wee fade. <laughs> so it looks like the flowers are going out of the nail. Is that how it looks? I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> There we go. Me just faffing. I'm just making sure that I've got down the side covered properly. And then I'm just going to pull that down a wee bit more. There we go. So once I've done that and I've... What's the word? Capped. <laughs> once I've capped all the nails, I'm going to buff them into shape. Um, and now it's top coating time. And I just love seeing the glitter come to life. Now the good thing with snow globe is that it's going to look different on different colours because it is a, 
a clear iridescent glitter so whatever you put that on top of it will look different on different colors which is awesome it's so versatile love it um so yeah i love watching this one it just it makes it look glass now remember when you do a glass tip you can put some top coat underneath the tip as well and that can make it even more glass like especially with gel because gel is so crystal clear love it so this is the finished set and now are you ready for the scottish section so here we go it's the scottish word of the week and what's it going to be it is fanco to entangle a tangle or confusion whether describing shoelaces or situations, Fanko is a fantastically versatile bit of language. In a sentence, my headphones are off Fanko. And in English, it means my headphones are all tangled. <laughs> it's so funny going from Broad Scott to my telephone voice. <laughs> Anywho, thanks so much for watching my video this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a wee giggle and learned something along the way. Stay creative and I'll see you the next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!